What's in your backpack that you need? A book. Yeah, it is your book. It's your book. I sent home to mommy. <laughs> Let's do it again. Life is good when you're in a verbal behavior classroom. The education for children with autism is an ongoing challenge. Applied behavior analysis and the analysis of verbal behavior is bringing scientific-based interventions to those families and children who need it most. One, two, three, go. The project started in 2002 with two classrooms. Currently, we have 95 classrooms across the state of Pennsylvania. We're applying the science that has deep roots in the study of human behavior. So often, autism is talked about as something vague and mysterious and related to something that's inside the child. The approach of applied behavior analysis takes what the child does and relates it to things outside of the child in order to help that child get more control over their own world. I have a 12-year-old son with autism. It was clear that applied behavior analysis was the treatment of choice. It looks like an M. It does look like an M that way. The Verbal Behavior Project is all about outcomes, evidence-based outcomes. Having a scientific approach is critical because science works. However, using science alone is not enough. We have to make sure that we're using the child's interests, the things they like. We use positive reinforcement to guide or shape these important behaviors. Everything that they love is there. Reinforcers are there to motivate them, to make learning fun. Here we go. Okay, here we go. The Pennsylvania Verbal Behavior Project is a dynamic system of approaches. Data-driven decision-making. Classroom organization. Man training. Vocal training. Group training and direct instruction. Intensive teaching. Fluency training. Natural environment training. Social skills training. Behavior management. And staff training. These techniques work no matter where the student falls on the autism spectrum. We're constantly changing as the student gets better and better and acquires more skills. So it's not one size fits all. We adapt our instruction to meet the individual needs. Students who gain these skills have them for life. What's in the cup? Woody. Water, good. This is great news for families of students with autism. As a parent, what you want to look for is a program that is well-designed, pragmatic, honest, Marker! Good job! Advocate for your child. Don't be afraid to ask for what you think your child needs. We need to, as a community, keep working, keep advocating for our kids. You're the parent. It's your child. It's your choice. And who's Kwaku? Um, my little brother. And I'll be honest, I haven't always loved my job. I loved the kids. I knew that they could do more and I wanted the best for them. To see the progress that they make every day has just been a huge inspiration in my life. Kids make me want to get up every morning. And it's just, it's changed everything I do. I love what I do because I think we're changing the lives of kids. Once you hear that one child make their first sound, there's nothing like it. As a parent of two children with autism myself, and as a behavior analyst, it is so reassuring to know that the Pennsylvania Department of Education is supporting such an effort. I've been in special education for 33 years. It has been the most rewarding element of my professional career. We've seen the evidence both from science and in our practice. This is what works. It is our vision to provide evidence-based practices for all students with autism across the state of Pennsylvania. If you are a parent, educator, or administrator and need more information about the Pennsylvania Verbal Behavior Project, please contact patent.net. And thanks so much for watching.